Hi there, Capricorn. Siberia from Cats and Cards, and we're going to get started on your reading. I was not ready. Capricorn, see, you're ready to move. I'm hearing that song. Um, it was by Ludacris. Too many, not enough, too many rookies, not enough pros. So, like, you feel like you're gaining pro status in something. Trouble coming out of the frying pan and into the fire. Um, I feel like here you're working really hard and you feel like you're just not getting anything done. There's a sense of mystery and a sense of all knowing for you, Capricorn. That is so weird. Your energy always be so weird, but it's like so cool. Okay, Capricorn, the mystery um, is you. The knowing is you, but you are like, you're, I feel like you're like challenge accepted, but you feel like you're not getting there. Aquarius energy. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, but these are cycles, moon, life cycles. Your birthday could be on the second. So if you've already gone through some kind of transition, you're transitioning into um, ascension and you're transitioning into um, leadership at work or something for some of you. What else for general energies for um Capricorn. I almost called you Aquarius. Saturn energy is here. Sagittarius, no. So this is overburden. This is workload. This is, I feel like this is you starting to tell people no, because you have too much to do. There's sacral chakra here, creativity as well. So something is burdening your creativity. I feel like you're working a lot. This is family. This is communication. I feel like you're taking on other people's problems. And for some reason, um, you are feeling like you're being taken for granted at this time. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius Capricorn. Lavender, Weaver. I'm hearing that song by Gary White. Dream Weaver, I believe I can get you through the night. I know I sang that wrong, but I feel like somebody works nights here. 20, you might have anxiety or you might have sleep issues. Somebody is doing this for um, their children. Somebody is doing this for a better life. We have communication here as well. Mercury energy. Again, I feel like a lot of people are calling you for help. Or you are the problem solver. The community, the community card wanted to flip over Capricorn. So I know you are taking care of a family or a community of people, which is, that's brave energy. That's some brave ass energy because I don't always want people I'm playing. I'm playing. 20. House. You are the head of the household for some of you. For others of you, you'll be getting um, some space really soon, like some space to clear your energy, some space to kind of um, chill at home. The 20th might be um, significant. Somebody's birthday could be on the 20th. You could be 37 years old. This is poverty. Um, uh, this is mindset and this is body for me right now. I feel like somebody's very tired. Somebody does hard industrial work. You could work with like fire or metal. You could work with car parts or work at a factory. Somebody's been seeing a black cat. That means there's magic around you. But I also see a rat here in this picture. And I feel like those are just people at work that are mad that your spot's secure or something like that. But you know, like, people always try to start trouble. That's just the energy of the world. Child falls at my feet. So there's a child missing you. Or I feel like there's a child that's up your ass, literally. It could be a 15-year-old. It could be an 18-year-old. But your birthday could be on the 15th or 18th. Lever's energy is out. So that is aligned here somebody gonna be getting some I feel like somebody needs to know this somebody needs to know this you are going to have a baby if you do it so wrap it up and I do not give like medical advice or anything we've got courtship in reverse and I feel like that's two people getting to bed with each other each other somebody's really missed their person as well somebody's feeling very playful as well you have a lot of children for some of you, and you're great caretakers. What else? What are the love messages for Capricorn? If you find that my readings are resonating with you, please click like, share, and follow Capricorn. So we get the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this is draining energy. Okay, somebody has found some time for some loving. For others of you, I feel like you're putting your heart and soul into a decision about family, a decision about children. The Page of Pentacles here is something that starts off very small if we're talking about work related and career related, but this is something that is definitely going to grow. Somebody's tired, exhausted here. I'm getting that energy. Let's get out some prophetic messages. Um, this could be an interracial relationship for some of you as well. And someone wants to come back with a brash apology. But um, this is more like a family. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Gemini. This is more like somebody looking for answers about women. Breaking illusions. 
Nine. Nines are about letting go. Your birthday could be on the 9th or something significant with the 9th of November. Breaking illusions here. Look how this person is taking off their mask. They are finally being, um, they're allowed the space to be their true, uh, most authentic self. And it's so beautiful, that energy, to be what you always wanted to be with a person. Or or you are aligning with your, your higher self. You don't give a, a about what anybody says, decisions. Yeah, somebody's head of household here, but you are making the truest and tritest decisions. Red could be your power color at this time. Your birthday could be on the 17th or something significant with the 17th. So for some of you, this um, card is going to be a confirmation of this reading. This card is a confirmation to come for others of you. Prophecy. Um, I feel like you, some of you have that knowing. Some of you know something is going to happen. And this is your confirmation that is. Somebody's communicating with their ancestors and somebody is remembering like past life this is deep inner introspection this is deep meditation this is deep like i don't know where you go capricorn but y'all y'all are out of here like 33 you're in like capricorns are these deep spiritual beings like even though they have that devil like energy because they can get into some shit now y'all y'all like are like, I don't care whether you're Christian, whether you're Omnis, whether you're Buddhist, Taoist, I don't care, but some, a Capricorn here is like the highest, okay? The ego, the self, you are mastering that right now. This, um, the polka dots in here are true psychic energy. Somebody likes taking a lot of selfies too. You're exploring the nature of your ego. The biggest block in your life has been your ego, spiritual team. Again, somebody is truly like, um, somebody is Buddhist or Taoist. Somebody tr um, somebody does um, this type of work, but uh, this is uh, c creating a soul tribe. Your spirit team is going to find you. And I feel like you're communing with them now, uh, like up in the ethers. That's crazy. Yeah, people are envious of you right now. I feel like this is a very specific message. For a Capricorn out here, there's a woman watching your relationship and she's trying to think of ways to break you up even i don't even know i'm getting like a, a friend too like their friend wants their friend back or this is a literal person just trying to break you up because they want you and they don't want to see you and your person together and i'm sorry but the messages are here your ego is beginning to crumble i feel like somebody was a cheater or something like that in in their past lives and you're learning about ego you're learning about self let's get some runes out and close out your reading capricorn so we've got kina so you are seeing your true path and if you're not you will be you could have a k in your initial you could have an a inspiration vitality i'm hearing greg charles i'm hearing um amber i'm hearing tanisha keisha i'm hearing david josh R ruth ruth michelle christine those don't have to be your names. Jordan, Christopher, Hagalaz, Hale. Somebody's been through it. Wrath. I feel like somebody's being tested right now because this is your true path. If there's a lot of shit going on right now. It's because you're on the right path. You could have an H in your name. Hail. It could be literally hailing or you could have some hail damage on your home. Somebody's name starts with an M, but I'm not getting it. It's like very foreign. I can't get it. I'm so sorry. Jera symbolizes completed cycles, changes. So somebody's going through definite changes right now. Your name could have a J in it. Runes. You could be Nordic or Islamic. You could live in India at this time. Celebrations are not happening. I feel like you are making that call though, Capricorn. You could have three daughters or there could be like three women in your life, three baby mamas. Six of cups in reverse. Yeah, these people do not want to see you happy. Um, this is about gossip, talking bad about somebody or trying like remembering only triggering thoughts at this time there is um somebody that is missing their dog and that's a very specific message i'm sorry about your loss i just recently lost my dog king of cups is here so that is scorpio energy so somebody is fighting like sexual like like 
I'm calling them predators because even women could be sexual predators on men and stuff. King of Cups, you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Scorpio, but that's about your home life and sex, death, and rebirth. What is coming in that Capricorn needs to know? If you would like to further connect with me, please message catsandcards at yahoo.com for a personal or message cats and cards. I wasn't ready. Or message cats and cards LLC on Facebook. What is coming in for Capricorn? Yeah, this dick. This dick. Wow. Capricorn, you are fighting off some sexual energy. This deck is spilling all kinds of tea. Okay, wealthy woman is here in marriage. Yeah, so you are in a fulfilling relationship, be it with you connecting with yourself and self-care or you like aligning in a, a marriage. But somebody is in despair over here and they want to come in on this shit. Like that is crazy. Long road. It's been a long road to, for you to become this mature man. And I'm saying we are all energies here, but we can be and body mature male or mature feminine energy. There was a mature male in reverse, and he's coming out of the bullshit. This is great waters. Hopes, wishes, dreams. You could be 35. Your birthday could be on the 5th, and you could be 36 years old. So that is what I have for you. I'm Siberia from Cats and Cards. If you would like to further connect with me, please click like, share, and follow. Comment or message Cats and Cards at yahoo.com. Leaving you with the messages of you are a loner. You are intelligent. You are quick-witted. Life path 7 could be your life path number. Thanks. Bye.